السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم بیک ونس اگین ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ان اور یسٹرڈیز کلاس وی ڈسکسڈ کلوز پیکنگ ان کسلائن سولیڈس سو وی فنیشڈ دے ٹاپک کلوز پیکنگ ان کسلائن سولیڈس ان اور ٹوڈیز کلاس وی شیل ڈسکس ویریس ٹائپس آف وائڈس دیٹ آر فارمڈ وین وی ارینج دیز کانسٹوئن پارٹیکلس ان کسلائن سولیڈس سو ایکچولی ان کیس آف کسلائن سولیڈس وین دا کانسٹوئنٹ پارٹیکلس ارینج دیم سیلز ان بٹوین کانسٹوئنٹ پارٹیکلس سم امپٹی اسپیسز آر ہالوز آر لیفٹ دیز ہالوز آر امپٹی اسپیسز آر کالڈ ایز وائٹس سو اف وی look into the plan of crystal that's formed by joining edges or the rows of these constituent particles which we treat as spheres we can easily locate some triangular empty spaces and these triangular empty spaces are actually those voids and these are also called as interstitial sites or interstitial vacancies or interstitial voids so actually four types of voids are formed in case of crystalline solids one is triangular void second is tetrahedral void third is octahedral void and the fourth one is cubical void so as shown in the figures in every case we have represented the void in the form of a figure so if you take the first type that's triangular void so a triangular void is actually formed when you join two spheres head to head there will be a notch or wedge which will be left empty between these two spheres and if you place third sphere into this notch or this wedge when these three spheres will touch each other in between these three spheres there is a triangular part that's left empty and this is the triangular void or triangular interstitial site the in other type in this type of triangular void the ratio of radius of void to radius of sphere is 0.155 so we'll be studying later radius ratio second type of void is tetrahedral void we discussed actually this in yesterday's class also so now if you take this tri- triangular void and please fourth sphere above this triangular void so in between these four spheres there will be an empty space small empty space and this small empty space is tetrahedral in shape because if you join the centers of these four spheres that actually surround this void or gap you will get a tetrahedron and the the empty space lies exactly in the center of this tetrahedron that's why this empty space this void is called as tetrahedral void the radius ratio that's radius of void to radius of sphere ratio is equal to 0.225 in this case now octahedral void so actually an octahedral void is formed by two overlapping of two triangular voids when you combine trides of spheres when you place trides of spheres above each other two triangular voids with their apices up and down in opposite directions these overlap and the empty space left inside is surrounded by an octahedron that's why this empty space this void will be called as octahedral void as shown in figure here 
So in case of octahedral void, the radius, a ratio of radius of void to radius of sphere is equal to 0 0.414. So another four the type of void is cubical void. A cubical void is formed when you place four spheres you, when you form a plane of four spheres and place plane of four spheres in the same arrangement above this plane. So in between these eight spheres, the empty space that's left is actually a cubical void because the spheres form a cube and this void, this gap is surrounded by this cube, hence the void is called as cubical void. So these are the different types of voids that are formed in case of close packing in crystalline solids.